Hello everyone. Now today we are going to start our first presentation for especially for postgraduate students and let's start with the urinary bladder. So the first thing under this heading we are going to discuss is the indications, the indications of urodynamic investigations. Let's see how I can help you. Now just to enumerate the indications of urodynamic investigation, just remember the word links. L I N C S. Remember this word links. Here L stands for lower urinary tract symptoms. Lutz. I stands for incontinence. N stands for Neurological disorder. C stands for children. And S stands for surety of diagnosis. So we have selected the important words from various indications. Broadly speaking, we are having 13 indications for urodynamic investigation and all these 13 investigation we can categorize them into these headings and just for your memory we are taking this word links now under this lower urinary tract symptom group Usually this obstructive symptom, it is related to genital urinary system and one of the investigation we are usually familiar with is blood urea nitrogen. So remember this term by blood urea nitrogen, BUN. Under this incontinence group, Prime Minister then DM and under children group 3D. Now let's go to the main window. Now here is the various ind indications for urodynamic investigation. I have already explained you the different words and let's start with the first group. L stands for Lutz. And under this group, by bun. Now here B stands for any patient with Lutz suggestive of the first B, bladder outlet obstruction. Now in this group, just focus on the important words. So bladder outlet obstruction, Y, young men, then again B, both obstructive and instability symptoms are there. Then you unresponsive patient even after giving appropriate therapy and N stands for neurologic disease. Add LUTS to all these five words and now we are having five indications of urodynamic investigation. You can later on go into the details of these indications but just for memory quickly we will go through this window then let's come to the second group the I the incontinence here this word is important incontinence and under this prime minister this P stands for planned surgery any patient in which we have already planned the surgery 
and there is recurrent incontinence. For that we have planned the surgery and it is a must for us to go for urodynamic investigation. Now, the another indication under this heading is if there is some confusion, the mix of stress and urgent continence is there. Again, it is indicated. The third group, neurological. Dysfunction of bladder and mismatch between symptoms and clinical findings. Obviously, neurological disorder word is there in both the indication. The dysfunction of bladder better known as neurogenic bladder dysfunction. The fourth group, the children, the three Ds, the daytime urgency is there and urgent continence. The diurnal aneurysis is persisting and dysraphism, the spinal, the spinal dysraphism is there. And finally, the last alphabet S, just the lowermost line. Whenever we want to give some therapy to these patients, the disorders related to urinary bladder, and if there are so many side effects or the therapy may be potentially hazardous, so we would like to make sure the diagnosis, diagnosis is clear, it should be clear. So S stands for surety of diagnosis is required before starting any therapy. So just I will advise all of you to go through this single slide, just focus on the visual memory and yes I am sure you can write all the 13 investigation and the 13 indications for this urodynamic investigations. Very soon I will be coming with some other sort of memory aid for all of you. This is the reference from where I have taken all these 13 indications given in Campbell Urology also. So all of you just focus on your study. Any problem just give me the details of subtopics you want to discuss where you want my help. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you.